And I want to bring in Denver 7 investigative reporter Jennifer Kovaleski. And Jen, we know the next court date's June 17th. You've been digging into new court documents in this case. So what have you uncovered? And we are learning new details about how well that former Denver police officer knew the suspect and how he had direct contact with him on the day of the shooting. This is the story of what happened in the moments before and after Isabella Thales's murder and how a Denver police officer was caught in the middle. Here's why this matters. The AK-47 used in the murder was the personal weapon of DPD Sergeant Dan Politica. Politica has since resigned for reasons not related to this case. But at the time, he told police his longtime friend Michael Close stole the weapon. New court testimony from the lead detective shows minutes before the shooting, the suspect sent the officer a text writing his dog, Bella, was attacked by two dogs and that he had full intentions of going back and murdering them. Ten minutes later, the suspect follows up with a voicemail saying, dude, Dan, I really f***ed up bad. I did something really bad. There's no, there's no going back from this now. Court testimony also shows Sergeant Politica didn't contact police until five hours after the shooting. Testimony also showed the sergeant was planning to take the suspect to therapy on the day of the murder. We reached out to Denver police, but they declined a request for an interview. We wanted to know why there wasn't an internal affairs investigation. DPD told us Sergeant Politica didn't violate policy because the agency doesn't have rules for how officers store their personal firearms. Politica was allowed to keep his job until he resigned in March. He retired with full benefits, but he is the subject of a wrongful death lawsuit.